In this video, you'll learn how to set up and start using Timeflow. Once Timeflow has been installed, you'll notice a new menu under Tools, Timeflow, which includes various commands and options organized into submenus. To get started, select Open Timeflow Window at the top. Drag and dock the window under the Game View or wherever there is adequate space. The view remains empty until Timeflow has been added to the currently open scene by clicking the button in the view to enable Timeflow for this scene. This creates a new game object with a Timeflow instance. At least one Timeflow instance must be present and active to function. This provides a single timeline that unifies timing across all objects in the scene. In most cases, a single instance of Timeflow is all that's needed, though additional instances can be created for more advanced setups using multiple timelines. It is common practice to make Timeflow the root object for organizational purposes, but is not required. Window layout is of course a personal preference and may be arranged any way you wish. However, all videos pertaining to Timeflow use the layout shown, which is inspired by other leading animation software and recommended for a productive workflow. This provides a natural order from sources on the left to final output on the right. The most important thing is to make sure that the Timeflow view has adequate space to work in and that you can easily access the hierarchy, inspector, and project views while working. If you wish to use the layout currently shown, select Load Layout from File and locate the Timeflow layout in the directory Timeflow Examples Layout. Once you have a window layout you are happy with, it's recommended that you save it for later recall using Unity's Layout Manager. Now that we have our Timeflow view set up, next we'll go over the main features. 